healing factor, you know. Get ready to check out my amazing dragon ability. I once watered the sewers under the Hellfire Club's New York building for hours. This will be a piece of cake. Really curious to see what the Red Skull's so interested in down there. According to the map, the way into these tunnels is in a ravine at the base of the mountain. We can bring you right up to the entrance. Beautiful. I can take it from there. I'll have you know I'm indulging your desire to follow this map. Don't say I never gave you anything. After this... How can this be? It seems we have been walking in circles for hours. It's been 20 minutes. <laughs> Relax. We're close. You said that after your last... sniff. And I was right. If this is supposed to be an ambush, I've seen better. Ambush? This is a slaughter. No kidding. They were trying to get inside that vault. I don't believe in coincidences. Which means... Project Gutermorter. I bet my life on it. So did they. Guess Hydra just dropped a rung or two on the bad guy food chain. Maybe so. Still, this Lillen feels different somehow. Feral. You sniff that out? We can debate the hows and whys later. Get that vault open before more of these things show up. Too late for that. You're right about that thing. It smells like it died and crawled through hot garbage. Well, that is one way of describing it. I'd be more concerned with how it fights, not how it smells. Easy for you to say. It's not breathing down your neck. You were too weak for this fight. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago.
haven't seen that kind of Hydra regalia since the war. Oh, you hide out here if things went south. I guess he didn't make it. We have our hands full as it is without having to worry about Red Skull too. Should do the trick. Just what I need. Kiss a goodbye. It's about time. Should have been through by now. These things aren't that tough. You are the man with the claws. Do something about it. Now that was something. We expected more from them. That looked like it hurt. Time to see if Red Skull really did hide his ultimate weapon here. for the sequence. Got your decoder ring right here. Great. Dollars to donuts, that alarm still leads somewhere. Let's not stick around to find out. The hell you waiting for, kid? This way! Crossbones command ship? You gotta be kidding me. The Temple of Cthulhu. Not what I'm talking about. Better brace yourselves. <laughs> That's a real mean guard dog they got for this place. You need to look for a way out. You can't beat him in a straight fight. We'll either figure something out or die trying. You sure know how to rally the troops, Logan. It's time! I am 
impressed. So what are you doing here? This is a dangerous game of cat and mouse. Not so enjoyable when you are the prey, is it, Hunter? At least we are still in the hunt. You have already been consumed. Mother protects me. down a lot better marks than you. Do you see the glow of Wondagore? The time is <laughs> to see your ancient evil with you guys. Almost makes me miss Magneto. You are not worthy of her! will not look kindly on this one. I wish I could tell you we had some kind of air support or evac on the way. That would be too easy. You'll leave when Mother says so, not before. Now it's my turn. You know that's not enough. Forget that.
running out of options here. And space. One chance, Hunter. Return with me to Mother, and I will spare what remains of your friends. Man, I miss the torn purple pants days. It may be our only chance. That ain't a chance, kid. It's a monster. So come on, ugly. Let's finish this. Finish this, Logan. <laughs> yes, I will. Hunter, come to the forge when you can. It's urgent. Okay, cut the bull, Stark. I know you've got some kind of Hulkbuster up your sleeve. Let's have it. Well, as a matter of fact, was accepted. The occult emanations coming from this god killer are unlike anything I have ever encountered. When I gripped it, I saw a face. The face of Cthon. Mm, yes, I suspected as much. The darkness I sense here is beyond the realm of mortals. It's no surprise Red Skull was seeking that level of power. This is more than just an artifact. But whatever it is could represent a change in the direction of our battle against Lilith. You are the only person here who can figure out what it is. And if you cannot, then maybe it is best we just ignore it. I wish ignoring it was an option. I wouldn't feel so uneasy in its presence that way. You are uneasy because you understand what it could be. I appreciate your vote of confidence in me, Hunter. Some part of me feels that everything in my life has been leading up to a moment such as this. And with your continued support, I feel that I won't let the group down. I think... The safest option is to keep it here in the forge for a bit longer, at least until I've had a chance to study it more. I don't think anyone should handle it until we know what it is for sure. Very well. And how long do you think that will take? Well, I think the world will be ending soon, so hopefully before that. I need to consult my grimoires. Check back with me when you can. It's like going against a different beast. I never expected the Red Skull would trouble me again. Yet here we are. When I woke up this morning, the Red Skull was the furthest thing from my mind. Yet now it seems he's a key player, even from beyond the grave. In my experience, the grave is but a way station, not a destination. Every time I think I've got my mind wrapped around this conflict, I get thrown a curveball. Finding that artifact beneath Mount Wondegord has stabilized me as well. Here's hoping Strange can figure out what exactly this god killer is. If the Red Skull had it, then it's nothing good, I'm sure. Earlier, you mentioned the Red Skull was drawn to the occult. Like a fly to a rotting carcass. How much do you know about World War II? I did not realize there was a World War I. I'll just sum it up. Red Skull was a man whose ambition knew no limits. And when our world didn't give him enough, he looked beyond it for even more power. A very dangerous man indeed. And we're all safer that he's no longer among the living.
I think the world is safer because you are here protecting it, not because this red skull is gone. I'm just one man, Hunter. It's all of us together that keeps the world safe. That includes you, Tony, Caretaker. Even the ghosts around here do their part. I wonder how the Red Skull came to share my mother's obsession with Cthan, anyway. Oh, I'm sure he tried to find your mother to help him. All part of his Project Gutmorder. My mother never would have allowed him to share her power. Well, I don't think he got that blade just to put it under glass, if you know what I mean. He planned to use it all right. Now we just need to figure out why Crossbones wanted me to have it. Whatever the Red Skull wanted with that weapon, it wasn't good. What's troubling you, Sarah? The hilt of the God Killer. It looks familiar. What do you mean? I don't know how to say this, but it looks like it's made of the same material as Hunter's collar. The same material? Sarah, the collar we created is made of orichalcum, the metal of Atlantis. I know. It sounds crazy. Have Strange examine the thing. Because if it is, Sarah... I know, Agatha. I'll see what I can do. What is this about the God Killer? The hilt. It looks a lot like the metal your collar is forged from. Or Chalcum. How can that be? I'm not sure it is. It's just a hunch. Strange should examine it. See if my hunch is right. Because if it is, the God Killer might be our best shot at taking my sister's life, putting an end to all this madness. Is that not what we all want? An end to this? There's only 2.5 members of the blood left in all creation, Hunter. If we... When we defeat her, my only sister will be dead, and our kind will be nearly extinct. If that is the price of peace, so be it. I know, but still, she is my sister. And my mother. We must not have any reservations about what we are about to do. Ah, <sighs> I raised you well. You raised me to be a weapon. I raised you to be who you are, to serve your purpose, and I'm proud of you for fully embracing it. I appreciate that, Sarah. Ah, <sighs> perhaps we shouldn't get ahead of ourselves too much. We're not even sure the handle of that blade is made of orichalcum. Strange will find out. Make sure he does. Hunter, a word? I'm listening. I wanted to apologize. I'm afraid I came off a bit cold when we last spoke. I thought giving a cold shoulder was part of your plan. <laughs> if I wanted to turn you into a popsicle, I could. But that is not my intention. So you are speaking literally. That's a conversation that will have to wait. I see you are still hesitant in sharing parts of yourself. I'm not trying to keep secrets, but I don't want to alarm anyone. Why would it be alarming? Hypothetically speaking, how would you feel if others learned that you could cause a hurricane if you became too upset? I do not think I would feel good about myself. Some people start viewing you differently. As a leader, that's the last thing I want. Do you think they are scared? No. I have a tight lid around my emotions. Let's leave it at that. I go into detail, but... You do not trust me yet. Keep doing what you're doing, and I'm sure we'll get there.
Relationships can't be forced, but making the effort counts. Hunter? After seeing Banner's soul twisted under Lilith's control, I see why Bruce used to doubt himself so much. He mistrusts the green brute because deep inside, Banner doesn't trust himself. Another thing he and I have in common. There is still hope for Banner. Yes, there is always hope. But do you think it's possible I'll ever see Bruce Banner in the same way ever again? Whenever we face Banner next, we owe it to ourselves and to him to not hold back. We will have to face him soon, won't we? I want to be ready when I do. I want to be sure of myself. You're not alone, Wanda. When the time comes, we will face your demons. Our demons. Together. Thank you, Hunter. That gives me some strength. Did I ever tell you about the time the Hulk tore me in half? This sounds like a story I cannot pass up. I was in the path of a Category 5 Hulk smash storm. Big Green pulled me apart like it was wing night at his favorite pub, and I was the chicken. Well, that sounds absolutely horrible. Then Hulk threw my legs, four miles away from the rest of me. What? Up a snow-covered mountain. Had to claw my way to him. How did you survive? That lovely, forceful bisection put my healing factor to the test. Had to find my legs by their scent. My scent, if you catch my drift. As long as Lilith controls the Hulk, we are at a disadvantage. Yep, and we're sorely lacking in the Hulk killer department. I volunteer you, Wolverine. We all know what's gonna happen, Hunter. Doesn't mean I gotta be eager about it. Well, no matter what, we are sorely lacking in the Hulk Killer Department. Anytime someone wants my opinion, it means we're really screwed. Remind me not to brainstorm with you anymore. Makes sense. I'm more of a claws out kind of guy. Anyway, glad you enjoyed our little Hulk survivors group. We'll meet again if we survive him next time. With all of the artifacts and equipment Hydra has been absconding with, it was inevitable we'd catch them unloading equipment somewhere. You'll have to move quickly if we're going to recover any of their equipment. We don't like running errands.
As long as none of you gets on me, we'll be fine. You've secured one of the crates. See if you can't get the others. one of the crates. See if you can't get the others. Confidence is high. I'm going to need a minute. They've armed one of the crates. It's going to explode if you don't get that key. You got off easy this time. the last crate. Wipe out the remaining Hydra forces, and let's get you home. Power knows no bounds. Hey! 
Return to the darkness. That's one shipment Hydra won't be receiving. 